So today I'm doing a video to take a look at the Sujuntivo Imperfecto um, because I don't think it clicked as well as I hoped it would for most students, for some students anyway. Um, so we're going to just take a quick look at it and hopefully get you set for the test next week. Um, so first we have regular subjunctive, which we already learned back last fall. Remember when we, we played that murder mystery in class? This is what we learned then. So it's importante que vayas a la escuela. It's important that you go to school. It's mejor que comamos desayuno. It's better that we eat breakfast. Dudo que tengas tres gatos. I doubt that you have three cats. So this is subjunctive where we express doubts, value judgments, hopes, wishes, desires, all of those categories. All of that still applies here. Um, over here, we have the past subjunctive, and all it's doing is taking these subjunctive situations and just talking about them in the past. So instead of saying it's important that you go to school, it's important that you went to school. It's better that we eat breakfast. It's better that we ate breakfast. I doubt that you have three cats. I doubt that you had three cats. So all the same subjunctive situations apply. We're just talking about them in the past, right? The conjugation is where it gets a little bit tricky, because in order to nail the conjugation, you have to go back and remember all of the preterite exceptions. So we're going to start with just comer, because that's not an exception, right? Comer. So we have ellos. We're going to always start with the ellos form of the preterite. So ellos comieron, right? Always the ellos of the preterite. We're going to take off the O-N, and then we're going to add whatever ending from here is, is, is appropriate. So es importante or es mejor que tú comieras desayuno. And that's basically it. Es mejor que tú comieras desayuno. So these endings over here apply whether it's an ER verb, an AR verb, or an IR verb. It's always going to be the same endings. Let's take a look at the verb tener, right? So first we're gonna go to the ellos preterit, which we know is tuvieron. We're gonna cross out that O-N, and we're gonna go with the two form, like this sentence up here. Yo dudo que tu, tu bier. And we're gonna go to the two form, que tu tuvieras tres gatos. I doubt that you had three cats. Um, another important note here is nosotros form will always have an accent. So, tuviéramos, and we'll go with an AR verb, which would be, let's go with camináramos. So, the nosotros is the only form that has an accent, the only one, right? So, ellos preterite, take off the O-N, Add one of these endings. Um, and a little trick you can you can ask yourself if you're doing it right. Does it end in this sound? Iera o ara. Sometimes it'll be ieras, sometimes it'll be ieran, etc. But it should end in the sound. Er and ir verb should end in the sound iera. Ar verb should end in the sound ara, right? Um and that's basically that. I'm going to put a link up where you can practice conjugating this. Um, I recommend for the test, you do that practice. And rather than studying the past subjunctive, study the preterite exceptions, because all of the exceptions in the preterite are exceptions in the past, past subjunctive. So you're kind of like killing two birds with one stone by studying for that. Um, and I think that's it. If you have any more questions, please do come and see me.